Hey everyone, it's Jen. So I know I haven't posted a video in a while. Things have been a little hectic here. I actually now have a part-time job at a bookstore, so in addition to working with books and reading books all the time, I just didn't feel like filming book videos recently. But I am gonna get back into it because I have some really exciting books that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So I think what I'm gonna do for the rest of the year is just review books in groups of five because my monthly wrap-ups have been getting super long lately because I've been reading a lot of books, so I think this is a nice way to sort of keep it short and sweet and to the point. So the first book that I read this fall is A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab, which I gave four out of five stars. A Gathering of Shadows is a sequel to last year's A Darker Shade of Magic, which I absolutely loved, and I thought that A Gathering of Shadows was a really great sequel. I don't want to say too much about the plot. I don't want to spoil the first book for those of you that haven't read it yet. It's mostly about a boy named Cal who lives in a place that he calls Red London, and it is a London that has a lot of magic mixed in and a girl named Lila who is from Grey London, which is more like our London that doesn't have any magic, and just sort of their adventures, to keep it vague in general. <laughs> so everything that I loved about the first book was present in the sequel. Uh, the characters are still amazing, and I still love them and really root for them. The world was still so interesting. I love that even in the second book there were new parts of it that were being revealed that made me want to continue reading. I thought the plot with the games did drag a little bit, but that's really my only complaint. I still read the book really quickly and I can't wait for the third book to come out next year. The next book that I read is The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemisin, which I gave 4 out of 5 stars. And The Obelisk Gate is the sequel to The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin, which I read over the summer and I absolutely loved. Um, again, since this is a series, I don't really want to talk too much about the plot so that those of you who haven't read it yet and who want to won't get spoiled. But the first book had a lot more backstory in it, so The Obelisk Gate takes place a lot more in the present. We do get a new narrator and a little bit of a new focus in this book, which I thought was nice and I really liked the new viewpoint. And for every question from book one that got answered in book two, there are new questions. So I'm just continuing to be amazed by N.K. Jemisin's writing and her world building. And again, I can't wait for the third book. The next book that I read, well, actually listened to, was The Girl with the Lower Back Tattoo by Amy Schumer, which I gave four out of five stars. And I did round up because I really enjoyed the experience of listening to Amy read her own book to me. I feel like listening to Amy Schumer tell her own story added a lot of depth to what she was saying, so I definitely recommend listening to this book on audio, especially if you are a fan of her humor and her comedic timing. I feel like it comes off a lot better listening to it than it would reading it. This book wasn't exactly what I expected it to be. I've watched quite a few episodes of her show Inside Amy Schumer, and I did go to see Trainwreck when it was in theaters last year. And this book, while it did focus a lot on the sort of humor that made her famous, there were also surprisingly a lot of sort of deeper, more serious topics that she covered as well, which I thought was really interesting because a lot of those things that she talked about were things that I never knew about her. And so I really enjoyed listening to it and hearing about her life. And even though I was surprised by the serious turn that the book took, I definitely recommend it for people who are fans of her humor. Maybe even if you're not a fan of her, try checking it out to see if it changes your opinion. The next book I read is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I actually gave this book two and a half out of five stars. So I did not really enjoy Me Before You. Yes, it had some emotional moments, but I felt a little manipulated into those emotions because it felt like this story was just tragedy for tragedy's sake. So there's a lot of other people who've done really in-depth reviews on this book, so I'm not really going to go into some of the main issues that I had with the plot, although I did really not enjoy the turn that the book took in the second half. For the first half of the book, I did quite enjoy it. I sympathized a lot with Lou as someone who's also in her 20s and just doesn't really know what she wants from her life. But then having Will be the one to sort of tell Lou what she wants and who she should be, I that just rubbed me the wrong way a little bit. And I didn't really like him as a character very much in the beginning because of this sort of attitude. I mean, I, do, I did feel for him, obviously, but... I don't know, this book just didn't resonate with me, 
the way that it seems to have with some people and I probably will not be checking out the movie. Another book I read recently was Another Brooklyn by Jacqueline Woodson and I actually posted a full review on that so I will go ahead and link it below. I wanted to quickly talk about the National Book Festival in Washington DC which I attended at the end of last month. And so while I was there, I got had the opportunity to meet a few of the a few authors. So I just wanted to talk really quickly about that. So I did have the opportunity to meet and talk to Jacqueline Woodson and she signed my book. I also got to meet Lauren Groff who wrote Fates and Furies, which was a really popular book last year. And and this is actually the British edition, and she was very happy to see it because she told me she loves the cover for the British edition, so that was fun. And so those two authors I just met in line for signings, but the only panel that I was actually able to go to was for Charlie Jane Andrews, who wrote All the Birds in the Sky, um, a book that I read earlier this year and I really loved. So I thought her panel was super fun. And I actually took some notes about things that I wanted to say to you guys, but then I waited so long to do this video that I lost them. So I'm sorry. But I just really wanted to mention it to you guys because the, I think the last time that I went to an author signing was when I went to get Stephanie Meyer to sign my copy of New Moon like eight years ago. And I have definitely grown as a reader since then. Alright, well I hope that you guys are having an amazing reading month. And I'm going to be back soon to post my next five fall reads. If you want to see what I'm reading all the time, be sure to check out my Goodreads page. Uh, like and subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!